Andy here this morning. Uh, just wanted to do an update on my uh, on my wagon. You're you're probably thinking, well, why is your wagon in this odd location of your driveway? Well, um, because it was pulled here dead. <laughs> it was a it was a son of a bitch last week, and uh, and here's why. Not because the I wrecked into a Jeep. No, that, that, that's not that's not the case. But uh, you might be wondering why the why the fuel injectors are off. Well, uh, if you don't know these cars all too well, the the fuel pressure regulator is inside the the entire fuel injector case thing, you know. But uh. Yeah, so I gotta rebuild that entire thing. I gotta put new gaskets in, uh, new, new, uh, new seals and whatnot. Then I'm gonna clean it up, get some carb cleaner, a bucket of that carb cleaner. <laughs> but yeah, yeah, that was that. That was the main conclusion because it's, it's getting gas. There's gas shooting out of the out of the fuel rails there. In the back. We. All week I thought it was icing up the lines, but but no, no, it's too bad. But uh, one of the make mistakes we did make was going out buying parts because uh, we concluded it wasn't getting gas up to the throttle bodies, and it wasn't really getting power to the uh, to the injectors. So under there is the computer we bought from a junkyard yesterday for 43 bucks. Well, something like that. So that's that was a waste of money. And by the way, if anybody wants to buy a a '92 Caprice computer, a wagon computer, uh, I got one for sale for 20 bucks. <laughs> but uh, yeah, I'll show you guys the uh, what I'm doing exactly. I'll show you the fuel pressure regulator that are in these cars. And all in all, it's not that not that hard to rebuild them. But uh, you just gotta know your stuff. Like, yeah. I can't show you on this this throttle body because it's greasy. Oh my god! I'm not even using the fucking original fuel injectors and the fuel injector stuff here. I'll show you that here. Let's close that for now. I should put a rag over the fucking throttle body, but oh well. Uh, let's go inside my. Messy garage. Here's my bike. <laughs> Here it is. It's a 66 Chevelle box. So here it is. Let's see here. This is the fuel pressure regulator that came out of the wagon. Here it is. It's this thing here. Yeah, that. It's it's shot and creased. I'm surprised gas got even through there. So that's no good. And this is the one out of my '91 Caprice. It's going the exact same way. So I'm not going to use that. I'm going to buy a new one. So uh, yeah. Um, who's this? Is? Yeah, that's my '91's fuel injector support. Here's my wagons. Yeah. Or yeah, that's my ninety ones is in my wagons. Okay. Then I got a bunch of parts to make to make two, you know, if I I lose a part or lose a screw and there's that. And I picked up some different fuel injectors. Uh kinda like a pocket transaction, you know. <laughs> nah, just kidding, I paid five bucks a piece for them at the junkyard. That that was pretty sick. Five bucks for or ten bucks for a couple fuel injectors. These are the ones out of my wagon. They're really grimy. I, I don't want to use them. Yeah, I think the kit new kit comes with O rings. I hope so. Or I gotta get an O ring kit. And where's the? Let's see. I think these. No, 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 no. This. And this one's out of my. Uh, yeah, my '91 Caprice. It's all scored and everything right here and. This here fitting is uh faded and yeah. 
so that's no good. I don't want to use the, these four, but uh, if I had to, I think the two out of the 91 still work. So it was still running before I got rid of it. And uh, definitely the two out of the wagon still work. And, I, and we pulled these out of a, a nice, clean, wrecked 91 Caprice. Oh my god. That thing was clean. The rear quarters didn't have a speck of rust. Well, they did because they were sitting, but otherwise, oh my god. Yeah. And uh, let's see. Here's another throttle body. TBI, and a, and a cool thing about these is, since it's Chevrolet, they're made by Rochester. That, that is pretty cool. They say these are the equivalent to a four barrel carburetor. But these are, I think these are much easier to rebuild, yeah. Throttle body. I took the, the uh, PCV or IAC valve, IAC, yeah, that's where that went. Idle air control. But uh, yeah, that's a, oh, there that goes. That's an update on my 92 Caprice wagon. Oh yeah, and uh, Hope this guy is still watching. Uh, to get a, a Grant steering wheel in one of these ca these Caprices, you have to take a lot of stuff out, like in there, to make it even turn well enough to. I mean, right now it's nice and free and it turns really easy, but uh, you just got to take all the airbag crap out of there and once you take that out it's there's no putting it back in so uh you're either gonna stick with the car or scrap it or whatever because if you sell it to somebody they get in an accident and uh they're gonna pretty much blame you <laughs> they're, you know they're pretty much gonna blame you for killing somebody if they don't wear their if, if they're stupid and don't wear their fucking seat belts so uh yeah that's all really what airbags are good for. Um, if you don't wear your fucking seatbelt, that's what airbags are good for, really. Seatbelts shouldn't fail. They're tied into, tied into the floor. So, uh, yep, just an update on my wagon, and this video is going to be a long, take a long time to upload. So, hope you enjoy it. That poor bastard should be running this week. Hopefully, I can get rides to work or use my mom's car <laughs> all right see you later everybody peace